everyone, my name is Miss Carla and I'm a librarian here at the Palos Heights Public Library working in Youth and Teen Services. I have a few books I'd like to talk about today and recommend that you come check out from us. The first one is called Jojo McCoon's Fancy Pants and it is written by find it, Dawn Quigley. So Jojo is a first grader and she knows how to do a lot of fun things like jumping and hiking and hiding her peas in milk and being helpful in the classroom. But there's one thing she doesn't know how to do. She doesn't know how to be fancy and she wants to learn. So she wants to learn to be fancy because her aunt's getting married and she wants to be prepared and for the wedding. So she ends up with her favorite purple unicorn. She decides to start exploring the community and find out how to be fancy. So this is one is good for if you are ready for a little bit more chapters, but there's still occasionally a picture or two in here. So there's a picture, there's some words. The, the whole book is only about some, um, 72 pages, so it's not too long if you're just getting more comfortable with longer chapter books. It's also part of a series, so if you like Jojo, there's more stories like this. Jojo is also from the Ojobi people, which is um, a, tri a Native American tribe, so you get to learn a little bit more about her culture. And the other thing I really like in here is there's another glossary, if I, can find, I think I passed it. Yes, there's a glossary, so you can learn a few words um, from the story. So this is a nice book if you're looking for something new to read about a different culture, and if you're looking for some laughs and as she tries to be fancy, you'll like this one. The next one I want to recommend to you is Aliana in a Pinch, or I'm sorry, Alina in a Pinch by Shanaz Nanji. So Alina has to move to a different neighborhood, which means a new school. And there's nothing worse than being in a new school and you have to make new friends. So she's worried about lunch and not knowing anybody. And, but then she starts, her grandma comes to visit and she gets into cooking and she decides to start cooking Afro-Indian meals with, like, with her, what her family cooks. And she decides that she wants to enter in the junior chef competition. That's pretty exciting. So, but then she finds out someone's bullying her and doesn't leaves a not a very nice note about her cooking. And Alina has to figure out how she can be true to herself and also but also stand up to her classmates. So this is another contemporary. It's um, this one does not really have pictures. So if you're ready for a chapter book with no pictures, um, there's one or two here and there. So there's little a few images, not too many. It is also um, a little bit longer than the last one, about 100 pages. So if you're looking for something kind of in between, you're ready for something a little bit longer. If you've ever had to go to a new school, meet new friends, I think you'll like this book. And my last recommendation is called Secret Spy Society, The Case of the Missing Cheetah by Veronica Mang. So this is a mystery, so if you like mysteries, so there's three friends that get pulled into a web of mystery. They are mistakenly, they have mistakenly uncovered a secret society made of some of the most famous female spies in history. And then they find out that a, um, someone has kidnapped a pet cheetah and they need to help. So these three girls are really good friends and they want to be part of the secret society. And it's kind of funny because they get pulled into it by accident. But this one has a little bit more imagery if you like pictures. There's a lot more pictures in this one. So if you're not quite ready for a text heavy chapter book, this is a good one for you. It is about 84 pages. So a little bit in between the other ones I showed you. And this one is really neat because there's a lot of girl power. There's a lot of fun friendship. And I think you don't have to be a girl to enjoy this book, but there's a lot of friendship and fun in here. And like I said, if you like mysteries, this one is also part of a series. So if you like this one, there are more that you can read. 
So those are my recommendations. I hope you come by the library soon and check them out. But until then, I'll see you next time.